Welcome to the R video tutorial on random number generation. In this video tutorial, you'll learn the basics of generating random numbers in R. All right, so the first thing we want to do is generate some random data. And one of the types we might want to do is a uniform random variable. And a uniform random variable is equally likely from zero to whatever number or from a lower end to an upper end. So what I'm going to use is this R-U-N-I-F function. And the arguments for this function, which stands for random uniform, is the first argument is, in this case, 15, which is the number of random generated values I want. So in this case, I want 15 of them. The second argument is, what's the lower number? The third argument is, what is the upper number? And if I run this, you'll see that I will get 15 numbers out. All right, so if you look over here, I get 15 numbers out, and notice that they are all in between 0 and 10, and they're randomly spaced. However, it's not easy to look at numbers, so why don't we look at a picture? So my next statement over here is I'm going to generate 1,000 of them between 0 and 10, and then I'm going to make a histogram of them so I can see what they look like. And notice that the bounds of my histogram are between 0 and 10 because all my values are between 0 and 10. And it's fairly flat across the top in the sense that no value is really any more likely than any other value. Another common random variable that we might want to generate is an exponential random variable. And to do this, I can use the REXP function, random exponential. The first argument is how many of them I want. In this case, I want 500 values. And the second argument is the mean of the distribution, the exponential distribution you're looking for. In this case, I'm using 0.2. If I run this, I can look at the histogram for this particular distribution for my samples that I pulled. And here we have an exponential distribution, and you can see it's highly skewed to the right. Another extremely common distribution we may want to sample from is the normal distribution. And to do this, you use the rnorm function, random normal. In this case, I'm pulling 10,000 samples from it. But the, the So the first argument is how many of them I want. The second argument is the mean of the distribution I want. And the third argument is the standard deviation. So I want 10,000 samples from a normal distribution with mean 15 and a standard deviation of 2. This is the histogram of the samples that I ran. Notice it looks like a normal distribution, a nice symmetric bell-shaped curve. A discrete distribution that we might be interested in sampling values from is a Poisson random variable. And to do this, you can use R-P-O-I-S, or random Poisson. The first argument is the number of them that you want. The second argument is the mean of the Poisson distribution that you're interested in. In this case, I want 700 random variants from a Poisson with a mean of 10. So if I run this, all right, so here's my histogram for my Poisson random variable. Notice that it's still skewed to the right a bit, and all of these values that it generated are actually discrete, and they're whole numbers. So they go from 0 to infinity, but they're all the counting numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. There are no decimal values in here, even though you can't see that from this histogram. One other common distribution is the binomial distribution. And I'm expecting you to have some statistics background by now if you're going to want to generate binomial random variables. You need to know what that is. But for the binomial, R binome, random binomial. The first argument is how many you want. In this case, for me, it's 300. The second is the parameter n. In this case, I'm using 10. And the third argument is p, the probability of success. In this case, I have it as 0 .0 or 0 0.3. I can run this. All right, and I get a histogram of my samples. Notice that it is highly skewed to the right as well. So, hopefully this will have gotten you So, hopefully this will get you started on generating random numbers in R. If you have any questions, please ask or watch the next video.